Good morning, everyone. We're in Boston, and we're about to go for some coffee. Coffee. But we're not, we're not allowed to make food pants. But um, Henwood wants coffee, so we're going to go get coffee. And then we are planning to walk the town down, basically. Um, Put our walking shoes on and walk the town down. We are staying in Brookline, so we want to walk all the way to Back Bay, which is about a half an hour walk. And yeah. It's not too bad, half an hour? Yeah. So it'll take you a little bit with us. So this is where we stay. I was wanting to go to that Sichuan restaurant across the road, but it doesn't look very good. It doesn't look spicy enough. Dandan noodles has too much noodles, not enough sauce. So I don't think we'll be going there. Too much noodles, not enough sauce. You gotta, it's like too much weight, not enough speed work. It's not too bad today actually, this morning. No, wind. I was expecting no. it to be worse. We have the cheese. Boreka? Boraka? Boreka? I don't know how to say it. Is it good? Is it a cheese and beef? No. Just cheese. Okay, mm. I thought it was for beef, man. Mm. And then on the other bag, mm. is it really good? On the other bag, pistachio croissant. Yes. Mm. Yes. So we're walking past. Half an hour away. Cool. So we walked past Brookline, and that was really nice. Now we're like in a bridge area, the bridge district. So it's like playing GTA. You have different districts. And we're in a bridge district now. See? Bridge. Bridge. And we've had our coffee. And I am I am officially endorsing I don't even know how to say it. Tata? Tate? Tate Cafe and Bakery? Tat? Tata? I don't know. But their coffee is one of the best coffees I've had so far in the US and it's really good and their breakfasts look amazing yeah we're gonna have breakfast there maybe tomorrow we're gonna have breakfast there tomorrow it's right next door to us all the day after yeah so that's that's the stars aligning towards the end of our trip where finally I can get good coffee yeah we were just saying this place looks like London like the the cobblestones the the buildings look old I mean obviously they're not as old as the building's there, but it just has this nice old feel to it. Oh, whoops, I gotta get there. Yeah. We gotta get there. Oh, rubbish. Hey, cups. Yeah, that's right. Ooh. Mexican, there's American food. So officially, we like Boston a lot. This one knows, this one knows. Oh, the duck, see the duck. <laughs> I 
<laughs> the duck knows. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's noon. It's high noon. The bell's going. It's noon. We're fixing the fountain. We're fixing and cleaning the fountain. It's quite cool. So Karen is looking for where we're going to have lunch. We're going to look at Italian noodles for lunch. We are going to go to Daily Catch. Daily Catch for Italian noodles. Sounds good. Karen's going to get a Xi'an bun thing. So this is called a rugama. I've never heard of a rugama. But can you open it up for me? I just want to see what's inside. Okay. Ooh. So it's got some like coriander. It's got so much rugama in it. Less dense, basically, because those burgers in New Zealand are like quite dense. The bread. Yeah, it's like the it's like the pita bread that they put in the pita bread soup yeah. that we have. Yeah. Okay. Cool. But is it good? Do you like it? The pork is very flavorsome, and then with the coriander, very good. Cool. And not dry because. I was worried that the thing would be dry and then the bread is kind of like flaky and dry. Although it's, it's good, it's just like you don't want to dry filling, like a super dry filling inside this kind of bread. Yeah. So it was good. So like it's again the meat. We're going to the Quincy Market. Oh, cake! Showed away. It's a good market. It's got cake. It's got cake. Mmm, cake. That's good, eh? Mm. Banana pudding. You see that? Banana pudding. Cookies. Cookies. Cookies are so good. I love cookies. Clam chowder. This is really, really nice. Good. Mm, wow. It's really nice. Mm. I like the look of this market. And that was Quincy Market. And we're gonna go and find food. Maybe. And I'm gonna have gelato, even though I won't be hungry. But gelato is not for hunger, it is for joy. Very small restaurant. Very small restaurant. And then um, 
When we came in, we got yelled at and told to wait outside. So, and, and another customer told us that if a business can do that, no food's going to be done. I tend to agree and hoping it's true. But the food does look good. So we and ordered the um, pasta <coughs> of your Oleo style, the ground squid. And we ordered the scallop pinguini oh, with white sauce. So looking forward to it. Oh yeah. And then afterwards, we're probably going to go next door, which is a complete coincidence. Like the cigar bar is next door. We're going to go there for a drink and a smoke. Hopefully it's not too busy yet. Then um, we'll walk around, probably have gelato, or go home, and then we'll have a Skype meeting. So. Mm, squid ink pasta. Linguini is called. The portions are big and they smell delicious. This is what kind of things. Too hot? It's okay. It's too hot, I think. How are we doing, guys? How are we doing, alright? Pretty good? Sure? Good? Okay, we have Karen's seal of approval. I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna eat. These collards are like crazy, crazy fresh. So, so fresh. Calamari is very nice, but I quite enjoy chewing a big piece of calamari. So to me, it's kind of like a shame that it's grand, but it's really good. Mm. Um, Amazon. Amazon. We just had the daily catch, the pastas that you saw, and I must say it was fantastic. It was really good. How do you recommend? Some of the best pasta we could have had. Yeah. Porky, the freshest seafood ever. Yeah. I think it, it gets really crowded at night yeah. and um, peak lunch time we went off peak it was kind of like it's 2 p.m. now Look, so the place, actually we were there probably at 1 yeah. 30 ish. Look, the place only seats and I'm estimating maybe 12 people. No I'd say 20 max. Very small place but the food is fantastic. The squid ink pasta was just great. Yeah really really good. We bought blackberries. They're These really aren't nice. swamp blackberries though. No. We're home now and I want to go shower and I want to go to bed. Because I'm sleepy. Even though it's kind of early. What's the time? 9.30. It is 9.30. Yeah, so it's 9.30 but... Probably night will be good. Um, tomorrow we are planning... I booked a tour for us, a walking tour tomorrow night. Um, and it starts... It's in Salem. Um, so we need to figure out how we're going to get to Salem tomorrow. I'm thinking, I think you can take the T-line and then another train. That's it, it's nine. Good night everyone. See you later. <laughs>